Hi, I'm Erin, and this is Our Wyoming Life. This is the farmer's market truck. We bought it in 2014. It made the haul to market tremendously easier. Certain items like tents and tables never have to be unloaded back here at the ranch. We also now have enough space to bring all of the veggies, baked goods, and jam to market every week. Freezers have a permanent spot in the truck during market season, allowing us to bring more beef and pork. In the beginning of our beef selling days, we drug coolers with ice back and forth. In reality, the truck isn't very pretty on the inside, and its top speed is only about 55 miles per hour downhill with a tailwind, but I can't imagine being without it. Every Saturday, Mike heads out early and loads up the items that can't be loaded beforehand. Once we get to market, it's a rush to get things set up before 8 a.m. This time of year, everything is easier. Lettuce isn't heavy and the weather isn't freezing. Come October, it will be dark when we do this, and often there will be frost on the windshield. As we move into the season, the veggies will get heavier, and bins will sometimes weigh upwards of 70 pounds each. It's not unheard of for us to bring over 1,000 pounds of product to the market. Luckily, though, this time of the year, the whole process is simple, and the weather has been great so far. Mike has a system when loading the truck. Beef and pork get loaded earlier in the week, and the freezer stays plugged in while the truck is parked. On Saturday morning, baked goods and jam come over from the house via the gator, and are loaded onto the shelves that have been built for them. Lastly, the veggies are emptied from the commercial refrigerator and placed inside the truck. We use bins and tubs, and the floor is where the veggies ride. Once we're at the market, there is also a certain order that the booth comes together. Tent absolutely has to go up first. This year, we have a 10 by 20 tent, and honestly, we hate putting it up, but it looks nice, and hopefully it starts going up easier once it's been used a few times. Tables and tablecloths are next, then we divide and conquer. Jam and baked goods are Mike's area, and the vegetable display is my side of the booth. We meet in the middle and fight over the remaining space. Not really, but it does get tight later on in the year. Signs and price tags also get added at the end. Some weeks the booth comes together very nicely, and we might even be done before 8 a.m. Other weeks, it's a rush to get everything on the tables. We want the booth to be well organized and pretty. It needs to be inviting to the customer and easy for them to shop in. Because I'm also one of the market managers, I often get pulled away during setup time to attend to market matters. Vendors need to know where they are located for the week and other situations sometimes arise that I'm needed for. Once we're done at 1, 8, 1 p.m., the whole thing happens in reverse. This week, we have a couple of new vegetables that are coming to market. Broccoli and rainbow chard are making their first appearance, as well as a few yellow squash. Broccoli is very easy to harvest. A sharp, clean knife is used to remove the head. The plants will stay and produce florets that we will continue to harvest for weeks to come. There are just a few yellow squash that are big enough to go to market. After hunting through the vines, a cut is made, removing it from the plant and leaving at least an inch or so of the stem Rainbow chard is big enough for some of it to be harvested this week. It gets cut just like lettuce and it'll keep coming back all summer. We try to harvest a variety of the colors so that when bundled, you get the whole rainbow. Back in the shop, all the leaves have been removed from the broccoli heads and they get sprayed off. The heads are placed in a bushel basket and customers can choose which one they prefer. Rainbow chard is soaked in cold water. Sort it through and then remove the leaves that are too damaged to sell and then a final rinse before placed on the table for packaging. A handful of stems are gathered for packaging and then banded with a rubber band. It's nice to have a few more crops at market. Before too long, we'll have zucchini and summer squash coming out of our ears. They say a zucchini will double in size every three days. So once they set, it's not long before they can turn huge on you. Tomatoes are also starting to turn red. Next week, we will have enough for market. I've picked a couple for quality control purposes, of course. So far, no tomatoes have been seen at the market, so it's still a possibility that we could be the first. 
We'll see what happens this week in the gardens. There's going to be a lot more crops in production in the next week or so, and we will really hit the peak of our season. Remember back in February and I planted tomatoes and I was dreaming of a tomato sandwich? <clears throat> well, that's my lunch today. It's always nice to see the fruit of our hard work pay off. Thanks for watching and make sure you like us on Instagram or on Facebook. And thanks for joining me in our Wyoming life. Thank <laughs> you.